So I ask people, what makes an adventure? And it's important uh, to ask them this because what we want to draw upon during a time of change is their resourcefulness, is their grit, is their ability to, their, their tenacity, their, uh, their ability to see through this change and to find ways through it, to build that courage, that self-confidence in them as well. So I ask them what makes an adventure and they'll tell me. And one of the things that always comes up is uncertainty change, unexpectedness, surprise. And that's what people feel in organizational changes as well, except that it's not as exciting as some sort of travel one, which seems to be a little bit more, um, I guess, adventurous. But if we use this change metaphor as a perspective for what we're going on in our, what's going on in our organization or what's going on in our team, you can really get people to sort of shift their perspective from, I kind of hate this change to, I'm excited by this. I I'm I I'm I want to see where this is going. I'd like to see what what what's happening from this one. So, what makes an adventure? There's uncertainty. There's engagement. I was involved in it. I was excited by it. So, so then I bring it back to this concept of we are in a changing world. I mean, there's lots of stuff changing: digitization, deflation, crypto, globalization, millennials in the workforce, climate change, plastics everywhere, Brexit's impact in in Europe and its part of the world, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, um, augmented reality. A whole bunch of different things are happening. Stock markets are changing. Organized politics, global politics are changing, and of course, we got COVID, who's come over over the top of all of it. And all of that admits our organizational change and restructure and how do we get clients and how do we connect with people? All of these sorts of changes are happening as well. The biggest challenge though, the biggest challenge is the speed of change. 